Hello again, it's uh, August 1st, 2021. I'm in Kvikjok in Sweden. Uh, I'm heading into Sarek National Park to do a seven to nine day backpacking trip. I brought food for eight days, maybe eight and a half if I stretch it. Always wanted to go to Sarek. It's been on my list for a very long time. So I'm finally here. So come along and join me. I'm now actually on the famous Kungsleden Trail, uh, the King's Trail. And uh, it's a very famous through hiking trail in Sweden. Stretches from Hemavan to Abisko, I think, or the other way around. And I'm gonna stay on this trail for the first day, day and a half, before I head off trail into the mountains. So, really cool to get a chance to hike on this trail for a bit. It's beautiful lush green arctic forest up here. We're above the polar or the arctic circle now. So a little bit earlier by a few weeks and we would have had the midnight sun but it's a bit late, August 1st today. Another funny thing is that there are grizzly bears out here, or brown bears as they're called here in Scandinavia and Northern Europe. Would have loved to see one. There's about 2,900 brown bears in Sweden. There's a lot of forest in Sweden, so you might not see one. Getting some mountain views for the first time. The old forest. This forest is really gorgeous. This is one of the prettiest forests I've been in. So really enjoying this.
love those meadows. Approaching Portstugan now. It's a cabin or a lodge for the Swedish Trekking Association. So now I'm gonna keep heading north and then I'm gonna see if I can find a good camp spot. It's a little bit of rain coming down. I guess I reached the national park boundary. It's a beautiful morning, looks like blue skies but some clouds rolling in. This was probably the coldest night of this summer, pretty sure it got close to freezing and the mosquitoes just completely disappeared even though there was no wind. But they're back and forth now. Very peaceful camp. In the thick of the forest. Stay two. In a few kilometers I'm gonna start climbing. Then I'm gonna go off trail. Uh, looking forward to that. Getting up into some elevation and seeing, seeing some views. That's what I'm waiting for. Still pretty in this forest.
cool trees everywhere. Pretty dry in here. Not a lot of water in these small streams. It's been dry for quite some time. taking forever to get out of this birch forest that is up here high. You can see the mountains in front of me but it's taking a while. Gonna take a detour out on this summit here. See if I can see some use. This is Kungsleden down here. Gonna follow that for a bit more. Then I'm gonna head up in here somewhere Quick Yuk is in this direction and Port de Stugan by that lake This is looking out east And now I'm walking pretty much straight north, I think. There's some clouds. Mountainous regions of Salek. Ah, this is pretty cool. Definitely worth the detour.
cool river delta. I was able to pull a weather forecast uh, up here and it looks like uh, it's gonna improve. It's gonna be sunny for the rest of today and tomorrow. And today is Monday and the first rain looks like it could be Sunday in a week. So that makes me hopeful for a good trip. It's gonna be pretty cold though. So far this area reminds me a lot about uh, Rondana National Park in Norway that I was in earlier this summer. I can't wait to see if I can get any views into Rappadal, which should be totally different. So I'm leaving Kungsleden here, I'm gonna head into the mountains now with no trails. It'll be fun. Can't wait to see those views.
It's only August 2nd, but it looks like fall colors have started appearing. You can see on the other side there. Here you can see that little viewpoint I was on earlier today. I'm just above that now, I think, again. Elevation. Gonna climb higher. What a beautiful place. This has got to be heaven for reindeer. Big open flat, a lot of stuff to eat, looks like, and no people around up here. After I left Kungsleden, it's kind of empty. I'm gonna head up to this little summit up here first. I think there's some good views of Rapa Valley down there, up there. Such amazing views. Kvikjok is out there where it's raining somewhere, in the middle of the picture here. Getting new views here. Into Rapa Valley. Rapadalen. Wow. This looks like something. Incredible. Look at that. I think that's not much or however you say it. Amazing. Amazing. Really cool. So I think 
This one is Namaj, Namaj, or however you would say it. And behind this big mountain is the famous delta coming out over there.
incredible.
another small summit with amazing views. I came over here and here and up here. Rapa Valley is down this way. This is some new views down this valley here. Gorgeous. Got some weather down there. And out in that weather is Kvikjuk. Where I started. This valley is so beautiful. Alright, I found water, so now I can just find a good camp. Look over here. I'm guessing this is the remains of a camp where the Sami people might have put up an, a lava or a gamma or one of the tents. I don't exactly know what they call them. It's very cool. 
cool spot. Quiet. Not much wind here. Sheltered. So I'm gonna head a little bit further down here. I could see some better water. Got my camp set up right by this stream here. Beautiful place. Pretty remote. Don't expect to see any more people for a few days at least. After I left Kungsleden, I haven't seen anyone 